All right, good morning. My name is Sergeant Lassard. I'm with the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office Homicide Unit. This morning at approximately 6.50 a.m., patrol officers were dispatched to the 1400 block of West 7th Street in reference to assisting Jacksonville Fire Rescue with a person down call. Upon arrival, officers located an unidentified victim lying in the roadway, uh, suffering from several injuries. JFRD responded and pronounced that individual deceased on scene. Currently, we have our crime scene unit, along with our homicide detectives, and our partners from the state attorney's office who are all on scene conducting the initial investigation. Uh, we're still trying to, one, identify the victim, also speak with any witnesses who may have information related to this incident. Uh, we're really looking for the partnership with the community on this one. If there's anyone who has information related to this case, please contact the sheriff's office. There's several ways you can do that. One is going to be our non-emergency number. It's 904-630-0500. Also through JSO Crime Tips at jacksheriff.org. Also, you can go through Crime Stoppers and remain anonymous. That's 866-845-TIPS. Um, like I said, if you have any information, please contact and let us know. I'll any, answer any questions you have at this time. Do you know who called 911 initially? It appears to be a passerby. Uh, like I said, it was just reference to a person down call. Does it appear this, this uh, young man was maybe hit by a car or something? Uh, we don't believe so, but like I said, suffering from several injuries, um, we believe them to be foul play associated at this point. Can you tell us any more about the injuries, stabbing, gunshot? Uh, we can't release that information at this time just due to the, due to the nature of the, of the investigation. Do we have any witnesses cooperating? Uh, not, not at this time. Like I said, there was just a couple of people that were, that were like, had just initially called, referenced to seeing a person down, but nothing related to the actual specific incident at this point. But we're still, still really early on, we're still talking with, uh, with Canvas, trying to do a Canvas and trying to see if there's anyone else in the area who may have seen or heard something in this area. Uh, I'd say mid thirties. Black male. Uh, black, yes. Do we believe he lived in this area? Or any uh, we don't know that at the time. Like I said, we're still uh, we're still we have to verify the identity of this person. Uh, we have a possible identity, but we're still we, we can't release any information until we can obviously identify, confirm his identity. Just going out, have you located any weapons? Uh, not at this time. Shot spotter activated. Uh, we don't have any information related to that right now. It's just clear that somebody did something to him that resulted in his death. That's correct. At this point in time, like I said, there's not a whole lot right now we can give other than it's still a very active scene. Um, homicide units, like I said, is on scene working with it. Still trying to just do some early on investigative techniques where, you know, like talking to people who may have seen or heard something. So and any other information that we do have, we'll be sure to push out through our public information offices. Um, like I said, if anyone has any other information, please contact us. I'm more happy to take any, any tips or information people may have. I know you guys said you're not able to release details on the injuries, but did you find shell casings or anything like uh, that? We don't have any indication of, of, of that type of evidence at this point. And so are you looking for a suspect in relation to this victim? At some, yeah, I mean, ultimately, we do believe um, this person was injured by somebody else. So we, just, we don't have information as to who that person is at, at this point. Should the community be on alert? The neighborhood be on alert? I mean, like... Like, you know, like we've said before and several times, anytime there is a, a death investigation with possible foul play, you know, until we can determine who that person is involved, there's always some kind of alert that needs to be necessary, but um, there's nothing specific that would that would harm, you know, or alert any other people in reference to anything. You know, I can't give it any general, generalized um, precautions other than just, you know, be aware of your surroundings. So, but nothing specific towards any, you know, any person on this area. And regarding Crime Stoppers, is there a reward? If yeah, so there you are eligible up to three thousand um, dollars if you give information that leads up to an arrest uh, for for this with this kind of information. So uh, we have a good partnership with them. That's something that we're uh, we do get a lot of information from them, and we do work. Uh, we go through all those tips that we do get, and you know pass them along to the, to the appropriate units um, in, in order to make sure we are able to verify uh, what this information is. It is anonymous. So you can go through, you can call them, like I said, 866-845-TIPS. Also go through their online portal um, as well to, to notify them as well. All right. Any other questions? All right. Thank you all.